Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel and happy Monday. Happy bank holiday Monday. Today is a bank holiday, as I've just said, and um, I am today having basically like a Sunday reset. I'm having like a Sunday reset on a Monday. I've got, the apartment isn't messy, but it's not tip top tidy um there's just like bits and bobs that are out that just need to be put away but you know when there's like just too much and you just don't want to do it all at once and then you're all like oh i'll just leave it and i'll just do that another day and it just gets too much for me really so that's what today's going to be it's going to be a productive getting everything done day um i've got a few things that i need to unpack um basically went away last week the boyfriend's family home and i came back decided that i wouldn't unpack the day that i got back and now look where we are it's three days later and i am still unpa not unpacked we're gonna get everything done i've just had a shower that is why i'm looking very very round rat -esque. I'm going to go and start on the bedroom. I've just stripped the bed, done the bed, the bed's all done now. Um, next thing I've got to tackle is this pile of bags here. I don't even know if you can see them because it's there you go. This pile of bags here. Laundry, clean clothes that I didn't wear that are just in my suitcase, and toiletries. So that's the next step is to get rid of that. I can't get rid of the laundry because the wash is currently on. So I can't do that until the first load has finished, which should be within the next half an hour. So let's go. What time is it now? 8.32. We're making good progress. I want to get this all done, the whole house done and sorted by 10 o'clock. I think I can do that. I'm feeling a bit, <clears throat> not poorly. I don't want to say poorly because I feel like as soon as I admit that I don't feel very well, the whole world comes tumbling down. <laughs> Okie dokie. So the bedroom is complete now. Um, the only things I've got left to do in here is that bag of wash in there, but the wash is currently on, so can't do that at the moment. So next up is the kitchen. We've not got much, much to do then. It's literally just a once over with the hoover, maybe a little mop. And then we're done, then we're done. So, for the rest of the day as well, um, I've just, as I was doing the um, bedroom, I had like a little brainstorm of what else I need to do today. A bit of drama school admin, um, just to sort of go through my enrolments and stuff like that. Um, so, once the kitchen has finished, I'm gonna then do like a little um, to-do list of all the things I need to do for that. Um, what else do I need to do? I do need to do a food shop, but the thought of the lift not working and me having to carry food up like 50 million flights of stairs is really not like doing it for me. So I'm gonna have a think on that one. I might just go and get dinner for tonight and then assess that tomorrow. 
Um, is there anything else that I need to do today? I don't think so. This is just a classic getting my shit done kind of day. And I feel like I kind of enjoy watching those on YouTube. Like I kind of enjoy watching like people just sort their shit out. So yeah, we're taking a little detour on the tidying. Got completely ready now. Um, I mean, I was ready before, but I've just popped a bit of BB cream on my face and um, a bit of mascara on just so that I look a little bit alive. Now I'm gonna go to the shop and get some, I put my bag on the wrong way, which is really upsetting me. Here we go. Um, so I'm going to go now to the shop and get a little bit of food. I am just not enjoying walking down these stairs, guys. Um, it's not fun at all, but it's what you gotta do. First of all, that was very successful, got everything I needed. Um, but, I have a bone to pick. When I was younger, um, from like the ages of like 16 to 18, I think it was, I used to work at a supermarket. And once you've worked at a supermarket, everything that people do at a supermarket, you constantly like analyze it and you're like, you'll do it like, just then in the shop, I was like, I was at the self scan and you know, my job at the supermarket was a checkout team leader. So I know what happens at a checkout and self scans very well. And this guy was like, oh, you haven't paid. And I was like, I paid? It's taken the money out of my bank. You can see that there. I can show you. It's taken the money out of my bank. Oh my God, you fell. Um, I was like, he was like, you haven't paid. And I was like, I have, you take, it's taken the money out of my bank. I can show you. And he was like, you need to pay again. And I was like, okay, then I'll pay again. He was like, oh, it won't let you pay again. And I'm like, well, that's because the transaction's finished. Your printer is out of paper. It has literally says it on the fucking, <clears throat> it, I literally said it on the machine, printer out of paper. So I'm like, you print that paper. And I was like, I don't need a receipt, I don't need a receipt, I don't need a receipt. And he's faffing around trying to find this paper. And I'm like, look, hun, I don't need a receipt. I don't want the receipt. Like, I'm literally gonna go out of the shop and put the receipt in the bit. Like, please. And he's like, no, 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 I need to give you a receipt. I need to give you a receipt, it's my job. And I'm like, no, it's not your job. Because first of all, I can decline a receipt. It just didn't get to that point where I could decline having a receipt. So anyway, we're going backwards and forwards. He goes, do you even run a receipt? I was like, no, I don't. And he was like, oh, you can go then. And I was like, I knew I could go. I know I can go. <sighs> anyway, away from that, I've come to the garden center, root knot cuts. And I thought I would just pop in because it's near the shops. And we would go and have a little look at the garden center see what they've got good in. Maybe some autumnal bits and bobs. I don't know. We'll just see. So I'm just gonna pop in. Also, I do wanna have a look at some house plants. So that's the plan. I'm, I'm gonna do that now. And we will see how we get on. But I haven't been to this one before. This isn't my usual garden center. Um, didn't actually realize it was here. So, I mean, bonus that I found it now. Hopefully, I'll uncover a few hidden treasures in here. So, yeah. Guys, look at this little hamster. Oh, hello. Oh my God, that is so adorable. Oh, oh my God, there's one right there. How do I get to him? Oh my God, I need to go and see him. Oh my God, oh, he's the wrong way. Oh, fuck. Oh, birds, no, I don't like them. Oh my God, look at the bunny. <gasps> Hello. Oh, I want to buy you rabbit so bad. Oh my god, this place is adorable. Hello, guinea pigs. That one there. That one there is adorable. Him there. He's so cute. Oh, this place is so cute. I did actually just think that I can get bits and bobs for Moochie Mooch. Um which is my hamster. 
any of you don't know. Um, should probably make a little cameo later on in the vlog. Um, but I need to have a look, see if they've got any hamster food, because she is out of hamster food. And I need to see if they've got the hamster food that she normally eats. I don't think she, they do. So I might have to do a little run to the pet shop. I mean, she's got enough for the time being. But this place is super cute. I thought they would have some sort of hint of Christmas, but I feel like I'm probably a little bit premature for that. Um, I mean, for Christ's sake, it is still August. And I'm wishing Christmas round as soon as possible. I mean, this has pumpkins on it. That's a pumpkin there. That's so cute. Autumn's on its way. Um, but yeah, I do need to go and have a little look for some bits and bobs. Let's see what they've got. I mean, there isn't. This isn't popping off as God. This could be better. Um, I'm gonna get out of here because it's hot. It is so humid in here. I need to get out of here. It's cute. Little positive um, experience. But yeah, it's getting it's getting hot now. I need to get out. I need to get out of here. So we'll probably head home now. I just realised I've got to track up those stairs with all of this shopping. And I can't bother for that, so mental breakdown pending. But we're gonna go home now. So I've just mixed myself some Philadelphia and um pesto green pesto into this nice little i don't even know if you can see it have you seen that yeah that's lovely um into this nice little spread um i probably won't use all of this which is perfect because then i can use it again another time okay i know i know i know <laughs> This is a chicken bagel with a bit of, you know, the pesto thing that I've just showed you. I popped a bit of paprika, Italian seasoning, salt and pepper, and these are just some little rice crackers. And then I've just got some little rice crackers there. Um, and I'm really excited. It smells amazing. It looks amazing. And I can't wait to devour it. So I'm going to watch a bit of TV um, and consume this and then we've got some admin to do. I've just popped another wash load on as well, so productive day! Hello everybody, I've had my lunch now and I'm just sat uh, chilling, I've got a little mooch with me, we're having a cuddle, aren't we? Yeah, we're having cuddles. She's so cute, bless her. Oh. Okay. So I'm currently watching Alison and Barry. No. <laughs> Alison and Larry. Billy Ricky to Barry. Um, it's on gold. And it's basically Pam and Mick from Gavin and Stacey. And they're going on like a little road trip. It's so cool. It's so nice. Um... Because I love Gavin and Stacey so, so much. And I think that just watching this, it's making me really miss Gavin and Stacey. So I think I'm going to watch an episode or two of this. And then maybe watch an episode of Gavin and Stacey. Because I love it so much. Don't be silly. She's so cute, bless her. Say hi. Hey.
Bless her little heart. Looking at pictures of her the other day um, from when we first got her. And oh my God, I'll maybe put some pictures on the screen now of when we first got her. She was so tiny. He was. Yeah. You were so small. And now you're just a big girl. Okay, I feel like that's enough hamster foot of content for you right now. Because I feel like... This could get a bit boring, but I'm going to carry on watching this. I've got my laptop there, so I'm going to do a little bit of admin. She's going to have a little scurry around. Off she goes. Bloody hell, look what to go. Bye, hon. See you later. Hello, everybody. Um, So, a little bit of time has passed now. And I've just sat and done quite a lot of like form admin stuff that I needed to do um, for my enrollment into drum school, um, which is really boring and you didn't really want to see any of that. But now that all of that stuff's out of the way, now that all the essential stuff's out of the way, I can now get into actually the exciting stuff, which is basically, I mean, the exciting stuff, I mean, it's, I don't know if you actually think it's exciting. <gasps> oh, that's exciting. That I've just found in there. My little memorabilia. I actually can't show you this. No, I can't. I was going to show you what that is, but I can't. Because it's not out. And I'll get sued. I haven't got the money to get me getting sued. Basically, get my shit together because it's not currently together. So, the plan is to, I have used for the longest time, I think, did I use it in secondary school? Probably. I can't really remember if I did or not, but... I've been using Notion for the longest time ever now. Um, an avid Notion user. I find it really nice to have everything organised on my laptop. Wherever I go, I can access it. Even if I don't have my laptop nearby, I can access it on my phone. If someone else has got a laptop, I can just sign in and get started. Um, so I've decided that I'm going to use Notion again for drama school um, to basically organise my life. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to put you on a little time lapse because, I mean, it's probably going to take a while. So I don't think you need to sit and watch me second by second do this. I think we can definitely time lapse that. So yeah, I'll catch up with you once it's got to a point and then I can give you a little show you around um, and give you any inspiration because I think this could be definitely applicable to any degree, anything, any course, whatever you're doing can still help. So I'll see you in a minute. Enjoy the time lapse my loves. Enjoy the time lapse. Let's get fucking started. <laughs> Okay, so it's a little bit later on now. It's took me forever to do that. I need to still like make it look a little bit prettier, but that's how it's looking so far. The timetable's in there. Um, there's a few things on the timetable that I'm not too sure about, so I do need to follow those up and make sure that, that is correct, that I've got it all down correctly. So basically this is how it looks. So you've got, again, your to-do list, your resources, your contact information, 
and then important websites and then your logbooks there and then you've got your logbooks there and then again i'm not going to show you my timetable because obviously there's names on there i don't really want to be giving away names on the internet but it's basically just that that's simple not too much so it's a little bit later on now i have just got ready for bed um i filmed it for my tiktok so go and check it out over there but what i'm gonna do now is basically head to bed because it's like half 10 and i've literally been up since like half seven so i think i'm just gonna get an early night go and sit in bed watch a bit of tv and then head to sleep i have enjoyed spending the day with you and i hope you've enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye i'm sorry but look at how cute she is oh my god i just love her hey. Hey, no night, my love. Oh, big stretch. Oh, big stretch. Okie dokie. No night, my love. Love you.